Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. 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 This video is going to be my Sephora VIB sale haul, or at least part of my Sephora VIB sale haul. Sephora has been the absolute worst with how fast they are or how slow they are shipping out orders. So I only have part of my order, but I didn't want to wait anymore. When the rest of it comes in, I will show you what I picked up. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that I got in this order. Which I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I... Oh, well... It remains to be seen. I was going to say, I don't think I overdid it, but I, I, I could have possibly, I don't know. I guess that's relative. Um, I will show you the first thing that I picked up. I picked this up before the sale though, but I just want to show it to you because this is the foundation that I am wearing on my face today. And I wish I had waited because then all the Sephora products went on sale for 30% off during the sale. But I have on my face today the Sephora Best Skin Ever Longwear Foundation plus anti-pollution, whatever that may mean. So this is it right here. And I have it in the shade 35N. Um, I think it matches pretty good for 35N when I put it on. I almost freaked out because I thought it was way too light, but it looks pretty good. It sort of matches my neck, so I am happy with that. I am feeling a little dewy because I am sort of oily here, like right across here. I get oily, so I'm feeling a little bit dewy in that area, but so far so good. The foundation... Um, feels very light like I don't feel anything on my face at all so that's good it feels like my skin can breathe so I do like that and my skin looks like skin which I like I do kind of see some of my little uh freckles slash sunspots whatever you want to call them right here which show through which is perfectly fine with me um I agree this is a medium coverage foundation and I need to drink but we shall move on um, I feel like with this first haul, it is not super makeup heavy. Like, it is, it is, maybe you can consider one item makeup, but not really, but we'll see. But I am going to show you the makeup items that I picked up first. And of course, I have seen this in everybody's haul, but of course, I was going to pick this up. Um, it is the Gloss Bomb cream double take lip duo from Fenty Beauty and it has the shades cupcake in and uh, bubble binge and I know people have shown these already but I shall show you again um, these two here so you have a pink shade we will come back here that ring light is like off the chain bright and it's not adjustable but this one is the shade Bubble Binge. It's a bubblegum pink. And this sort of mauve nude um, is the shade Cupcake. And this one will probably get more use, but this one is still pretty. So I got that. And because of my girl Kay's Ways here on YouTube, Kay's Ways, my girl Kay, I picked up from Natasha Denona. The Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. That is the box that it comes in. And this is the palette. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And these shades look really nice and brown girl friendly. So I am happy to have that. I have not touched anything in this box yet because I wanted to do this haul first. I couldn't wait anymore. I had to like get rid of um go ahead and do this and, and get rid of this box so I can go ahead and start using my products. And because of my girl Mika, Beauty with Mika here on YouTube, I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector. And I got it in the shade base two. And let me take this out. 
this I am just probably going to be using under my brows because a lot of palettes don't I'm bring it back this way a lot of palettes don't have that brow bone shade that I like and I am actually going to swatch this on my hand so you can see it they don't have that brow bone highlight shade that I like so I am going to use this so say sort of a really light peachy tone but um i picked up that and i think as far as makeup that might be all that i picked up makeup wise in this um first haul um unless you want to consider this makeup i did go ahead and pick up a full size of the milk makeup hydro grip primer I had the little baby one and I really liked it so I picked up the full size of that and I picked up this had been going like in and out of my cart for a long time now and I just kept hearing how good it was and how much everybody who uses it enjoys it so I decided to go ahead and pick up and I think this is the larger size the larger size of the youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser which is in a box like that and it comes in a glass jar which i have to be careful of but it comes in a big glass jar here this is actually the eight ounce size it comes with a pump and i can start using this now and the last sort of four things that i picked up are like fragrance related the first thing is from sol de janeiro and it is the brazilian crush cr brazilian crush chirosa caramelized vanilla and macadamia spray perfume hair and body fragrance mist that's what it is I did wear this the other day this thing and it has two caps it has this cap and it has this little cap here which reminds me of the Urban Decay um, all night or setting spray but this smells so good it almost smells like um like one of those vanilla pound cakes it smells so good um I think Chirosa means something like to smell good or something. Let's look that up. When you look it up, first of all, everything points back to Sol de Janeiro. But as I'm on their website, it says the term in and of itself is so Brazilian that there's no one word in English that can describe it. But as many of you already know, it means to smell incredibly delicious. So this smells incredibly delicious. Um, I don't know if they have a, a cream for this or not, but I will look and see. I used, um, I think, the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Cream with it. And then sprayed this on. This smells. Can you stay in one spot? This smells so good. It smells like dessert. So be careful. Um, the other three things I bought were like little travel sizes because these were things that I wanted to be able to smell first before I bought the full size. The first thing that I picked up is the Black Opium Rollerball, Eau de Parfum Rollerball. And it is a this little baby here. And I um, rolled it on this smells so good like it smells good it smells sophisticated it's like it's a floral scent but it's not like that annoying floral scent it's sort of i don't know how to describe perfume at all but it is a floral scent with like a little bit of su substance to it i don't know how to describe it but very sophisticated sophisticated but not old lady at all really like this this is definitely going to be a um full-size purchase 
definitely. Yeah, that smells really, really good. And I picked up two of the replica travel sizes and I was mad that um, I then found out that they had a trio of these for $66 and it had two of the fragrances that I um, paid $30 a piece for rather before the discount. It had two of the fragrances that I already ordered and another one that I wanted to try but by the time I got back online to try and pick it up it was already sold out. So I just stuck with the two that I ordered and I picked it up in Jazz Club and I picked it up in Bubble Bath. Now, whereas the Opium one is a roller ball, these are two little mini travel sprays. And um, Jazz Club just hit the floor. <laughs> All right, and this is, this is Jazz Club, nothing, nothing super fancy. But Jazz Club to me smells like, um, it says it's a male fragrance. And I was going to say it smells like a male fragrance, but it also smells like, as a woman, you can get away with it also. It smells, I don't know what a Jazz Club smells like, but this smells musky and I like musky scents, but it also has like, it also, I don't know what, um, powdery. It's like musky and powdery at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. They, they describe it as heady cocktails and cigars. I can kind of get where you would think it kind of had like a little a cigar effect to it. But Jazz Club, very good. I need to let my husband smell this too. He might like it also. Um, and then I picked up, I also wanted to pick up By the Fireplace, which I think is a unisex fragrance. Um, I picked up Bubble Bath, and bu Bubble Bath is described as a male and female fragrance. It is, um, they describe the fragrance as comforting, clean accords. And Bubble Bath, to me... Um, didn't, I don't think it really smelled like Bubble Bath. It does indeed smell clean, but it smells floral to me, and then it smells like something green. I feel like that's the best way that I can describe it is like something floral and then something green at the same time. It does smell very fresh, and I can see this being like one of those hop out of the shower at night and um spray this on before you go to bed or like on on a Sunday even though they have a, a fragrance called lazy Sunday um I can see this being in one of those free one of those fragrances you just kind of lounge around the house in so that is it you all that is what I picked up with my first Sephora order my second order is finally in transport. Hopefully, I'll get it tomorrow or Tuesday. I think once I do get it, I'm just going to, I don't care if I look like 10 miles of bad road. I think I'm just going to come on here and share with you all what I picked up in that second order. And with that second order, um, I did pick up one eyeshadow palette. I did pick up a couple of items from the Sephora collection. Um, so we shall see what I got in my second order. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell. So, you know, when I have a new video coming out, have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.